system. Even your blood dumps what it doesn't want into your lymph system. It's like bruising. If you bruise and you, and of course that'll be a parathyroid problem where your vascular walls are very weak. That would create bruising. Or you see spider veins or varicose veins. That's parathyroid, not utilizing calcium. Your walls are getting weak. And so uh, uh, you want to strengthen that parathyroid gland. Um, so the kidneys is what cleans the toxins, cleans the heavy metals, cleans the uh, 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 neurotoxins and things like this out of your body. And this case here um, uh, has a lot of musculoskeletal problems. Again, heavy lymph not moving right. The right side of the body sounds like the right kidneys big time not filtering properly. And it really there's no, no symptom except these type of things. After a while you'll get kidney failure where you're, you start swelling more, you get stiff more, more pains in the joints, uh, your creatine starts moving up past 0.6, uh, things like this. That's why medical doctors look at creatine and in the blood, and if it's, not, if it's below one, everything's good. Not really. Look at your urine. It should be cloudy when you pee. It shouldn't be clear. This arm, this right arm, you can't straighten out, honey. That's, that, that's just, uh, you, you're not moving your lymph, and it'll, it'll solidify on you. It'll get hard on you because you're not filtering through that kidney and kidney failure. It'll affect the breast. It'll affect the hips. It'll affect the shoulder. It can even affect up in the right side of the brain here. So you really want to move that out. And, of course, your back's getting scoliosis because you're pulling on that, that uh, stronger muscles, pulling the, the spine out. And uh, you want to fix that parathyroid gland so you can utilize calcium again. The bone spur will dissolve. Uh, it's an inch and a half, so you might want to have it cut off and, and be fixing your problem in the interim. So a lot of fruit, uh, of course, raw foods. Uh, at least 80% of your diet should be raw. And uh, work on your kidneys. Get those kidneys filtering. Use herbs. I use two kidney uh, herbs on everybody. Two kidney formulas always on everybody. And I use two lymphatic herbs. Uh, uh, formulas. One, one the uh, capsules, and I talked about this. One day I'll do a video just on the herbs and hope it'll help you out there. Uh, let's see what else. Clinical depression, again, anxiety. So depression is parathyroid. Your body's pulling calcium, not putting it back, so your spurs aren't going away. Of course, they're not going to go away in an acid medium anyway. You're going to keep pulling calcium. So you've got to fix this parathyroid. It's linked to your depression, anxieties, your adrenals. That's on top of the kidneys. So there's that kidney adrenal connection, parathyroid connection. So fix these glands up. Uh, I like glandulars. I'm sorry. I, I mean, when we're dealing in chronic cases, I don't know how old you are, sweetie, but chronic cases, you've got, you got to sometimes use these. Fatty cysts, the size of golf balls on the leg, that's what I'm telling you. Not moving your lymph system. And uh, these will dissolve away, but you, you've got to move your lymph for them to do that. Lipids are antacid. That's why cholesterol is the body's main antacid. There's no such thing as good and bad cholesterol. That's medical thinking. They don't understand anything. Cholesterol is the body's main antacid. LDL is adrenal steroids. Uh, she's forming in 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 depth. Patients, if you will, uh, in other words, uh, uh, crevices on the left leg here. Um, she's losing her tonicity of the skin. She's forming cysts, uh, varicose veins. I mean, you're losing your tone. You're, lo you're not utilizing calcium. It's that simple. Got to fix the parathyroid gland. Get your adrenals up. Get your. I'm, I, I take it you got low blood pressure here. If you don't, you clean your, your kidneys, you're going to have low blood pressure. Low blood pressure is adrenal weakness. Uh, yeah, I, I, if you have anything below 120 on the top, it's low blood pressure. The, below, the lower you get on top, serious problems. Look at the kids. The children of the day have 80, 80, 70, 80 as their systolic blood pressures. And you wonder why there's autism? You give someone a, a neurotoxin like a vaccine with thimerosal, you put them under surgery with, with, with that week of an autonomic nervous system, you can kill them. And that's what's going on. A lot of deaths because of these things. And a lot of autism because we don't understand as a society what neurotoxins are, what the adrenal glands do, what the autonomic system's all about, and, and what genetics is all about. And I think it's all simple. And you do too. I know you do. The way you, you read my videos. And I, I love you for it. I appreciate that. Here's one, a good one. I like uh, balding, alopecia. You know, balding is easy to correct. I will tell you, but what takes off hair? 
you know, a lot of people blame the thyroid gland, but I want you to think of something simple. When you see someone without hair, uh, generally speaking, you think of chemotherapy. And the reason is because chemo is acid, more acid than the acid that damages it. Like you've heard me say before, these people need to go to jail when they give somebody battery acid like that, or uh, in nursing we call it uh, Drano. Listen, move your lymph system. Those of you who are balding, and look at the younger guys. We have more balding than you've ever seen before. Uh, not genetic. You're, what's genetic is your cells. You're not moving your lymph systems, and that's very important. It's going to affect the way you perceive. A lot of strokes are coming out of bald people because they have heavy lymphatic stagnation. They're not draining their lymph systems. Use my upper circulation formula. Move your lymph system. Get your kidneys filtering. Get your adrenals up. Get everybody moving, and use that upper circulation, and I guarantee you start growing hair all over the place. I've never seen anybody you couldn't. I used to win a lot of money doing this with people. So uh, definitely uh, want to fix that. And I'm glad you asked that question because it's a big problem if you look around at the young people. Uh, what cooked food do we eat is another question. Uh, you know, steamed vegetables if you want, things like that. I mean, you know, we're coming out of generations of cooked food. It's not all easy to be a raw foodist. It was for me because I, I just tore into it. But then you start traveling around the world, you take on maybe a mate that's not raw, a lot of, uh, of situations start piling on you, you're burning off karma and developing yourself spiritually. It can be an emotional yanker at times, of course. All these things play a role, so I never judge you, and I don't want you to judge me either. We do the best we can. We're, we're, all, we're spiritual beings having a physical experience, and this is not uh, uh, the highest heaven there is, let me tell you. We'll talk about these different worlds and the worlds I've traveled in and uh, uh, show you that, uh, but I don't want you to uh, get confused. There's a lot of people that don't believe in a lot of things, but uh, it is important that we let go of belief systems and look at ourselves as spiritual beings and beings of light in a very inert universe. This planet is very inert to the spirituality of who you are, and so you've got these very inert bodies that uh, that's why the raw is essential, so you don't feel the mundaneness or the inertness of these human bodies here. But um, um, just to kind of go through some of these questions, I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks on these things. Um, okay. Uh, it says, I have to get x-rays for my messed up teeth. Well, uh, Ricky, uh, um, the new digital x-rays are under one rad for a whole set. That's the only way we can get around this is using the new digitals. And any dentist that's not up on that, uh, don't use them. But uh, the new digital x-rays, which uh, these CAT scans and things, I think, are moving to digital uh, real essential because the radiation levels are so high and so damaging. And the problem is, if, if, if you were healthy and had an x-ray, okay, and then raw foods and, all, and the greens will help clean all this radiation out of you. That's why the raw foods are important because if you have radiation exposure, you're going to clean it out of you. And uh, it won't be accumulative. Things are accumulative in an acid medium because things become anionic. Things become very slow, very, very thickened. And so uh, that's why we don't get radiation out of us very easy. It's why we don't remove heavy metals or toxins out of us very easy. Why we don't get rid of the acids out of our body very easy. Because we're not moving our lymph systems. Well, look to the kidneys and adrenal glands. Real, real important to that. Uh, clinic number, uh, that should be on our videos, but uh, it's at 941, uh, area code, at 255-1979. Uh, 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 panic attacks, adrenals, adrenals, adrenals. As I read your comments, Ricky, I can tell that you need to work on your